Welcome to an MTG Jank original video. This video is going to show you how to build a janky deck on MTGO from your own collection. So I have a lot of cards in my MTGO account just from years of playing and getting from free bots and you know a few drafts here and there and uh, you know you can always buy stuff from tickets but if you have a collection on MTGO you know what I really like to do is build um, decks from my collection and typically you might have a lot of fun pet cards that you like to play and etc. So today I'm just going to walk you through building a new deck. So I, I wanted to play and I didn't know what deck to make so sometimes you know I just make my own deck. So um, here we have my collection as you can see and um, you know I'm going to create a new deck here. So I'm just going to call it um, one new janky deck. I'm going to change it to commander and who better to represent that than Broko over here than Oko the Broken. So. I'm going to start, you know, maybe sometimes you want to just look through your cards, so I'm just going to look at some of my uncommons here. Now, I know a lot of these cards pretty well, so maybe I want to make a deck around attacking. That could be fun. Uh, you know, Savannah Lions is always a fun card, so I'm just going to throw in some cards here. And basically, you know, when building a commander deck, you want to uh, organize kind of like what the cards are doing, right? So Gift of Estates, this is a great ramp card. You know, if someone has more lands than you, this can be a, a ramp card. So here I'm already kind of looking at white. Here's a tutor, for example. And maybe now I want to look at some more busted cards. So these are cards that are just in my collection. So, you know, your collection is going to be different, but you can just kind of go through some cards. So some different categories. We have ramp. We have creatures. Uh, here we, you know, sometimes I like to do combat effects or, you know, things that affect the board. Um... You know, I really like Grave Titan. I just got this card recently. So, I, you know, I'm feeling like black could be fun to play too. Uh, you know, just some janky cards. Here's Harmonious Archon. These are just my, my mythic rares. So I don't have a lot, but, you know, I have a few. I could throw in my Mana Crypt. <laughs> um, so maybe some white black deck here. So why don't I just look at my multicolored cards? I can sort by color here. And then I can go all the way down to... Um, here's some lands, but it should show me... The white and black card somewhere around here. Um, here we are. So yeah, I just got this great art. So this would be fun to play. This is a, a removal spell, so I'm gonna make a pile for removal here. And so I have ramp tutors, um, removal. Here's some creatures. I guess this is ramp, right? This card I haven't played with this. This is a new card. Here's a new removal spell. I really like putrid warrior. So yeah, I'm just throwing in some creatures. Um, this is a fun card. I haven't played with this commander, so maybe we build around this. So at the beginning of each end step, we create some spirits equal to the number of tokens we created. So maybe we can uh, find some token theme here and, um, yeah, just, you know, have around 20 creatures. Here's a good board wipe. Um, this card's really fun if we can just kind of win cards. So just making some categories. I'll go back to this in, in a moment, but, um... Yeah, this can be a mini board wipe type of effect. I think I have some pump spells here somewhere. Um, yeah, here's kind of pump spells. This is kind of a janky card, a removal spell. So I have my removal, my creatures, my ramp, my tutors, kind of on board status effects. Um, this is a board wipe. This is kind of a I win the game card. So yeah, just some fun stuff. This is just gonna be like a trash pile <laughs> just cards that aren't that great but it can be fun um so my removal here's my removal so i'm just taking a look at um yeah some white black cards here and the stockpile is pretty fun too but i don't know i guess we are playing tokens right so this is this is the type of card we want so i'm going to create a new pile this is kind of like the theme of the deck right like tokens so at the beginning of each end step. So this can trigger off of any end step. So hidden stockpile, um, this is at our end step of a permanent left. So maybe we want to find something to sacrifice. So, cause we're going to have a lot of tokens. Um, we want to sacrifice our creatures. So I'm going to do sacrifice creature. So you can search for cards that kind of help you with that. White, um, here's another board wipe. Maybe this, this can be good to you. So just picking up some things that could be fun. Um, carrion feeder, yeah, it's a sacrifice. So I'm gonna create a new pile for sacrifice. So this is just kind of bad cards over there. <laughs> Here's sacrifice. Um, 
Let me look. This could be removal. Let's use some sacrificial spells. I think I'm going to look for creatures. Um, so I'm going to go to type creature. Let's look at my creatures. And you know, I, I could buy some cards, but really the goal of this video is to show you just how to make a quick deck off of, um, you know, the cards in your collection. So your collection is going to look different than mine, but yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Nantuka Husk, Phyrexian Ghoul, Plague Crafter. These are all like sacrifice effects that, you know, they might not be great, but um, why not? Why not just play some, right? <laughs> We're going to have a sacrifice theme. Could be a good time. Here's a sacrifice. So maybe I want like 10 sacrifice, 10 tokens, some removal and just some random janky cards. And um, yeah, just find the type of cards that Here's another good sacrifice. So it's kind of like aristocrats type deck, right? This is a payoff card, so maybe I should make another pile for it, like payoffs and like themes. Yeah, this could be a lot of fun. This sacrifice is rat, so I'm gonna search for um, subtype rat. Let's see what rats I have that I could add to the deck. Maybe I have a few rats. And you know, if you wanna buy cards, you could also go to quantity zero, and now it's gonna show all my rats with sacrifice creatures. So. Nizumi Bone Reader, maybe this is a card that I want to buy. So let's say I want to add this card to my collection, right? So uh, I have some tickets with my goat bot. So if I go to trade and go goat bot, I can, um, let's just open up goat bots here. I'm going to go to my ticket folder. I already have some, um, some tickets with them, but if this bot has the Izumi, the Izumi rat, and then it should be very easy to pick up here. So I'm just gonna find out quickly. So I was picking up some counter spells. So I'm just gonna type in a zoomy and hopefully um, this rat pops up. <laughs> Alrighty, it doesn't look like they have the rat here. So I'm, I'm a bit lazy, so I'm gonna give up on that right now. But, uh, but yeah, basically you could also just go to the website, but I don't wanna show my screen for that right now but um so i'm going to go back to quantity one and just look up my rats rat 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 rabbit rat um yeah so here's some rats i really like nizumi grave robber really fun card so maybe i'll have a small rat sub theme let me just find like four or five rats this Maybe this could be good. Find a way to sacrifice our own stuff. This could be also fun if we play some cards that, um, you know, want us to, okay, I think that's, yeah, we'll, we'll run just a few rats here for just, for fun. Um, so we got some rats, we're at 41 cards. We, we want some more mana, um, we don't have any card draw, so we'll probably need to pick up on those things. So I'm just going to type draw here, and you can see, do I have a pile for card draw? Not yet, so I'll, I'll create a pile. And this is good, just getting some card draw on the deck. Some random stuff that I have in my collection. Uh, white black and artifact and you know there are also other types of card draw too right but um so just some in my collection that we're just throwing in some things that i like this could be ramp more than card draw but um you know we want more token stuff so maybe if i think of any effects that work well with tokens that could be good um this is ramp i think uh this card draw so yeah i'm just making some piles over here um just looking for some ramp and card draw i really like season this guy is really fun each player draws to loses to life yeah, so I, I want to have kind of like 10 or 12 draw, then 10 or 12 ramp, just so that our deck is um, doing some things. This card's really fun. 
there's our removal section so just throwing in some stuff and yeah any, anything you really want to um you know try out you can just throw into your deck we're just making a fun janky deck that you can ju just uh, jump in a game with um sure i think um uh, bolus is citadel i have so yeah i really like this card top card of library maybe we can search for that <laughs> see how this yeah mastery of unseen this could be a really fun card to do too it's kind of creature creature um let's take a look here Gonti is a fun draw spell as well let's see this could be fun we have to play some colorless lands but i think that's doable let's take a look maybe we want yeah we're already at 58 so we're really running out of options here but uh just big creature so we have 30 creatures so we can probably cut you know four or five of them um, and I think our token theme is pretty bad right now, <laughs> so we might want to change our commander, or we can, uh, it's also mostly black cards, I'm not sure, maybe we want to add some more white cards to this deck. Um, just looking at our deck, this is aura or equipment, so we're not really running a lot of auras and equipment, so I'll take that out. Soul Link is fun, you can put this on opponent's creatures. I guess we could have searched for that, so maybe we could have kept it, but just taking a look here if there's anything. This could be interesting. Um, I want some really big ramp cards. Um, really like Dark Ritual. <laughs> Slam cards. Let's see. White, black. Hello, Lewis. Oh, okay. Play the heart. Maybe we search for a swamp. See what comes up. Some janky stuff there. <laughs> Let's take a look. Swamp walk. Maybe this could be fun. Yeah, so we're just picking some cards that we want to kind of explore playing, you know, they don't have to be super powerful. So we're already at 63, and we have only one land in our deck, so typically now, um, I'll go over some of these piles, but this is our card draw, so we have 11 source of card draw, that's good. So next we have board wipes, you know, you might want 3 to 6 or 2 to 6, so 3, three also sounds good. Um, Next we have our removal now between like six to 10. So we have seven, so seven's fine. Um, our ramp is 10, so we could probably add two more if we wanted. Um, just moving these piles over. So we've gone over our card draw, our board wipe, our removal, our uh, ramp. So this is all kind of in the deck. So we're looking at our other stuff. So. I think right now we kind of have two themes. We have the rats and we have our commander, which likes tokens. So I don't think this is tokens, right? Manifest is top card, 2-2 two, two creature. So that is not token. So why don't I just look for token? And maybe I switch out these rats for some tokens. <laughs> yeah, like, I think that's what I'm going to do. I like the sacrifice stuff because of our commander, we want to sacrifice things. So hidden stockpile cares about, you know, revolt. So why don't we put our sacrifice stuff over there? This is also removal. Uh, carrion feeder, Frixen ghoul, plague crafters over here, executioner. This is sacrifice, sacrifice. This is a payoff. So I'm putting them in the same pile. I'm gonna kind of organize them because we're running out of room here. But yeah, I don't think our rats are gonna make it in. So I'm gonna, we have Mironaur. So 
I'll keep the rats in this pile, but I'm not too hopeful. Maybe we can play that mask, which gives our creatures all creature types. And that way, if we get Mirror an hour, we can use its ability on anything we want. So we'll throw this into the deck as like a one of payoff. Um, I think we have a pile for like, yeah, so this is like pump effects and stuff. So I'm going to throw this, it's kind of like board status, like affecting combat or our creatures. So I'm going to throw this all in the same pile. Um, this is like an I win the game card. So you might want one or two of these. These are just like random creatures, <laughs> just like cards we want to play right now. So these are all can be cut if we need to. We're at 65 cards, so we do have to cut some cards. So I think I'm going to cut all these. Right now we're at 57. So just looking at our deck, I'd say we want at least one more I win the game card. Um, I'll throw this over here. Kind of, this is in a pile. And how else are we doing? We have some sacrifice stuff, but we really need our token theme. So I would probably, we might want to cut some sacrifice stuff. We have 25 creatures, so we want more tokens. So let's just look at token. And we have white, black, and colorless, right? So whatever can net us a lot of tokens that are okay to die. Um, or actually that we've created. So whatever can create lots of tokens, this would be great because the least doubles our tokens. So Luminarch Ascension, this is a really amazing token spell. We might be arc enemy with this, but um, let's take a look. This cycling one, do we need more removal? We have a lot of removal spells. Maybe this is a little janky. Maybe we want to run Generous Gift instead. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we just have a lot of things which like produce like two or three tokens. This can double our tokens, so this this could be good. Um, if we cast spell from our graveyard, we can make a token. So we have nothing from our graveyard. So if we're running equipment, we could run Kemba, but I think we're only running one equipment, the scope, right? So here, I mean, this can create tokens. Is it, does it, can, does this work with treasures? Tokens you created. So this does work with treasures. Now, Smothering Tithe is a really powerful card. I think, you know, this deck is a pretty casual deck, so I actually don't want to include it because I feel okay running Anointed Procession because this increases the effects of our cards, but Smothering Tithe is, I think it just makes the game unfun for other players because uh, we get so much, too much value out of it. Now, Amelia, Angel, Battle Screech, these are token cards that we want. Now, we're already going over, so I think we're going to have to cut some of these cards. Uh, Grave Titan makes tokens. I do want to run Beloved Chaplain just because it's really funny. Um, this actually makes tokens, too. So we actually had a few tokens. This is just, like, jank. Um, I really want to run Mastery, but... I think I want to cut these four. And right now we're at 56, so we can add like four or five more token cards. And then we'll have 10. And it should give us enough kind of payoff here, right? So this creates five. This is what we want, just like effects that create a ton of tokens. Um, let me look at this. At the beginning of your upkeep, if there are no reflections, create a 2-2. Two -two. Destroy target reflection. So. This would net us one 1-1 one, one flyer every uh, turn cycle, but that's not great for us. Uh, whichever ones just create a lot. Now, Song of the World Soul could be fun. Populate mechanic this is another payoff. So Anointed Possession, um, Song of the World Soul. Yeah, Storm Herd would be great. And White Sun's Zenith. These are the type of cards we want. Just give us tons of tokens. Um, in black, Yeah, Plague of Vermin is also great. And uh, maybe Reign of the Pit could be a good sacrifice card over one of our creatures. Uh, maybe over the Abyssal, Abyssal one. This actually is another payoff for tokens, so maybe we can throw that in. And yeah, I think our deck is looking pretty good. 
I don't know if mastery, yeah, I don't think mastery is going to make him. So we're at 62, and we have our commander. So you'll see here, um, it's not included in this number. So we can add in 37 more lands, and usually I run 38, and we have one in here. So that's perfect. So, so let's take a look. So I'm just going to type, um, actually, I can just go by the lands. So select my colors, and then go to type land. And now I'm, I'm just going to look through my my lands here and just select some. And versions, we're going to make sure we show all of them. And this would be a good board wipe slot, but we already have... If, if we want to add any of these double face cards, we should remove a card or two from the deck. So I don't think I'm going to add any at this moment because I've already completed my deck list. And I don't see any cards that are jumping out at me to take out. I mean, maybe defensive formation... But I want to try this out, and you know the purpose of this video is just to show you like how to make a deck quickly, just using some you know your collection. You know you can just jump in a game and try out some commander that you have. So Bajuka Bog is great, um, Command Tower. So I'm just throwing in cards that I think would work in our deck. You know they're all in our colors for the most part. Like we don't have fours, but most of these are going to be fine. Just going through our deck for some cards. Like if I wanted to increase the power level, like Field of the Dead could easily slot in. And you know, I think our commander's pretty weak, so I feel comfortable throwing this in. We just have to play a decent amount of um, non-basic lands. So I think that'll be fine. We can throw in some, some of these. And we don't have any cards that are like too heavy. Like we have triple white, triple black, so I guess we do. Uh, this is some janky stuff over there. So yeah, getting some Double lands would be great. I'm just throwing in some stuff. Salt flats. This is pretty bad. Um, Scoured barons. And we have the versions so that they're going to show all the scoured barons here. So we won't have duplicates. Temple. Just running some cards. Are we running any clerics? This card would be great. If we are, so I don't know if an easy way to search through our piles for clerics, but we know our creatures are here for the most part. This is a cleric, so I guess it, it's worth running because we have our commander. We can at least sacrifice with it. Anything else we can get here? So right now we have 15 land, so that leaves like, you know, uh, 17, 18 left. Oh, I really love playing Dowsing Dagger, so I'm going to put this in to our ramp here. And, you know, we only have 11, so maybe, you know, maybe, and one of them is Dark Ritual, so maybe we should cut another card for Dowsing Dagger. It's just a really strong card. Um, Aura Blast is a removal spell and draw, so it could fit in both piles. Yeah, our draw, they're pretty weak, you know, they're all 3 plus. We have Mind's Eye, which is really great. But for the most part, you know, Mentor Week can be strong. Like, this is like half of a draw spell. You know, it's just one card. So, um, yeah, I don't think we should remove anything from there. I think our Marrow Hour, this is only good with our Maskward Nexus, but this, this does provide tokens. So, it does have utility outside of our combo here. Um, this is great because it produces treasures, which also adds to this, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I will, we'll see how that plays out. But yeah, this looks like a really fun deck. I think if we had some more creatures to sacrifice, um, the deck could be stronger, but you know, getting a lot of rats and sacking them could be good. So let's just take a look here. Um, Harmonious Icon is pretty, Archon is pretty weak, but it could be fun. I guess 11 is a lot, so we could cut a, a Fleshbag Marauder if we wanted to. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll take out the Fleshbag Marauder. And then that way we can run the um, Dowsing Dagger. I really like this card. can add three mana, so this can ramp you really, really nicely. So next, let's just go to our basics. So I'm just going to type in uh, Swamp. And here I'm going to show the version separately, so I can just select the swamps that I want to add in. Now, I like uh, older ones, you know, I guess, yeah, I really like Mirage and stuff. So, and actually here, I think we're done talking about the deck, right? So, if you have any questions, this is card draw. 
board wipes, uh, removal. This fits in both, so you can kind of count it as like half of each, right? Um, there's a few cards like this. Uh, ramp, and then this is like synergy, so our, our theme, right? So we're running tokens. So here we have like sacrifice. These are our sacrifice cards. So we have our payoff, like pitiless plunderer and hidden stockpile. And we just have like cards that can sacrifice at any time, like in response to anything. And uh, we can get that value pretty immediately from these cards. Then we have our token generator. So we have lots of tokens. And we also have a few payoff cards like Tesa, Song of the World Soul, Anointed Procession. So these are all cards that buff the strategy. And then here we just have some combat tricks. Now, you know, none of these, you don't need to include combat tricks or things that affect the board, but you know, this is just a fun janky deck. So I, I would love to play with like this card, Ethereal Absolution, and it can even create tokens. So like this is a card that I threw in just cause like I like its uh, static ability to pump your team and you know, uh, debuff your opponents. But this even works out in our deck more cause we can create tokens with it, which um, will work with this as well because we can create tokens with this. So this like doubles our tokens and with anointed we can like double our double tokens so this deck is already looking like a lot of fun to play so uh back on track i'm gonna sort by color and now i have 19 black sources and 21 white you can also right click and go to properties um, and go to analysis and this will also show you so i have 43 white and 37 uh swamp so you know on 21 19 this is showing there's a little more white so I, I'm just going to do it evenly, to be honest, because they're so similar. Like, there's we have triple in, in each, so I'm not going to be too picky. But here we have um, 15 land, so we want to add 18 more. So that would be 9 of each, right? So here's 5, um, 8, and then one more. Then here I'm going to go to plant. Maybe I did my math wrong. <laughs> we will probably see... Uh, very, very shortly, but so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so 33. So we have um, five more. So one, two, three, and then I'll go back to swamp. Uh, one. To, and there we go. We have 38 land. So I hope you enjoyed this deck tech. It was a lot of fun making this deck, and I look forward to playing it. And I'm sure, you know, if you have a collection on MTGO, or you could even do this approach in paper too, right? You just can look through your cards and find cards that you want to play with. And, you know, this, this video was pretty short. So I, I hope you learned a general process of how to throw together a jank deck. Thanks for watching the video, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the MTG Jank YouTube channel. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.